Alright, we good? I'm good. Alright. Why is it so quiet? <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to my a little bit about me and QA bit. You know what? I'm just gonna take these shades off. I can't even take myself seriously in these things. Let's try this again. Hello everyone and welcome to my a little bit about myself and also the Q&A video. You know, because it's currently 12.24. Uh, by the, uh, the filming this video, yeah, I can't, apparently I can't talk right now. So, we are here not only to answer the questions that you people have asked me, I'm also here to give you insight about myself and what I like to do, what are my interests, and what I do as a normal human being in life. So, um, yeah, let's get right to it. Well, for starters, let me introduce myself. My name is Gabriel Del Rosario. I am 15, going on 16. I love movies. Uh, I am a filmmaker myself. I am a writer, director, editor, and actor. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, I consider myself the Robert Rodriguez of my of my own uh, projects because if you don't know who Robert Rodriguez is, look him up. He literally does everything, and I mean everything in all of his movies. I'm a huge nerd. I love nerdy things. I actually haven't read a lot of comics, but I have read a decent amount of them in my younger years. Also, I love anime. Actually, here, hold on one second. I love to sketch some anime drawings from time to time. I actually haven't uh, drawn some in a while because, you know, everything's been so busy with school and, of course, summer and everything, so. I do play a good amount of video games. Uh, my favorite range is from uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance. I love that game. Batman Arkham, the Batman Arkham games, and, of course, GTA 4 and 5. Those are fantastic games. To be honest with you, I don't play a lot of Fortnite. The only time I played Fortnite was at a friend's house back in February. Sorry, not sorry. Also, I am a musician. I play the piano. I know a little bit of guitar, but not, not an extensive amount. And I am in band. Yes, I play the alto saxophone in, in band, so there you go. And I do also play sports. Um, I used to be in soccer from like kindergarten to my freshman year in high school. I was in cross country for one year of my freshman year. Now the two sports that I play are bowling and track. Whoa, what time is it? 12.56. It just turned 12.56. So yeah, I, I'm like Mr. Incredible, you know. <laughs> I, I, I got time. I got time. Yeah, I've got time. And speaking of time, now is the time to answer all y'all's questions, so let's get right into it. So, first question of the evening. What city do you live in? I live in Bad Axe, Michigan. It's right here on the thumb of Michigan. What college do you want to go to? Uh, my top three colleges I would like to go to are U of M, Calvin College, and University of Southern California. How long have you been into movies? Well, I've been into movies my whole life. No, I'm not even kidding. Like literally since day one. I recently just asked my dad how old I was when I saw my first movie. He said 16 months. And I was like, yeah. That sounds about right. And for those of you wondering what my first movie that I've ever seen was, that was Toy Story. The first movie I've ever seen in my life was Toy Story, the original Toy Story. And even with Toy Story, like Pixar movies, like I love most of those movies. Most of the movies Pixar makes are amazing. Uh, my whole childhood and foundation of movies has been surrounded with Pixar and animated movies. Like, literally, I remember the order I watched the first Pixar movies in. It was Toy Story, A Bug's Life, Toy Story 2, yeah, Toy Story 2, and then it got flipped around. I saw Finding Nemo and then Monsters, Inc., and somewhere in the middle is Shrek. Yeah, I know that's not a Pixar movie, but still, I love that movie. How long have you known you wanted to be a movie producer person? 
Well, like I said, I've been into movies my whole life, so I've been into making them my whole life. My dad, again, my dad said uh, when I was watching Toy Story, he expected me to run around and yell and cry and all this crazy stuff. And he's like, why is it so quiet? And he told me, he goes around the corner and watch and sees me sitting in front of the TV screen in the living room, just like crisscross applesauce and just staring at that screen, watching the behind the scenes of Toy Story and how everything was made and all that stuff. What inspired you to start filmmaking? Well, honestly, my parents, you know, uh, that's part, they have inspired me partly because they have told me that they've watched movies a lot when they were younger. And more importantly, the grace of God, honestly. Filmmaking has always been my calling. Like, there was no other alternative job I was going to go into. My parents are physical therapists. I'm not gonna be into that job at all. Like, I'm not gonna be a doctor. Uh, I wasn't planning to be a construction worker or an engineer or a mechanic, none of that. Filmmaking has always been my go-to. Are you a Star Wars fan? <laughs> well, <laughs> to, tell you the, to tell you the truth, uh, it's funny you should ask. No, actually I'm not a Star Wars fan at all. To tell you the truth. What's a movie you wish you could have been behind the scenes when it was made? That's a great question. The one like type of movie I would love to see be made behind the scenes, Star Wars. Easily. Like, even the prequels. Like, I've seen a couple of the videos behind the scenes stuff and it's so cool how everything was made even though it wasn't honestly made very well. But it's still really cool. Um, I would have loved to have seen like Force Awakens and Last Jedi behind the scenes because I, my mind would have been blown just being there, seeing how everything was made. And also the original trilogy as well, and how they use practical effects and miniatures and stop motion, like that stuff is so cool to me, so intriguing. And uh, <laughs> honestly, I would love to direct a Star Wars movie one day. I, I understand that would take a huge amount of pressure and that'd be a huge responsibility, but you know, I'd honestly be up for it. While we're on the subject of behind the scenes in terms of movies, for those of you who don't know, my mom, my dad, and I were extras on Transformers 4 Age of Extinction when they filmed it in Detroit back in 2013. So there's another thing you didn't know about me. What's your favorite movie? Um, I actually have a list of like 133 or something like that favorite movies of all time. But if I were to choose like the one favorite movie of all time, it'd be La La Land. Um, I love that movie. I, you can see the poster in the background. Actually, I have a list. I, I, I have the list on my phone. Let's see if I can find it. Give me a second. Yeah, La La Land's number one. And then recently, Avengers Infinity War. Uh, the Dark Knight, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, favorite Harry Potter movie. The Whiplash and Birdman. Uh, Schindler's List, uh, Passion of the Christ, Baby Driver. Grand Budapest Hotel, Casablanca. My favorite 80s movie is Ferris Bueller's Day Off. I could, I'll put, I'll put a link in the description down below for the list of my favorite movies of all time. Cause it would, it would take a while for me to just list them in this video. I'll still name a couple more though. Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. Like I said, the Toy Story trilogy. I mean, how can you go wrong with the Toy Story trilogy? Star Wars. Like, if I were to rank them, it'd be, uh, the top, the top. Five Star Wars movies for me. A New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, Last Jedi, Force Awakens, then Revenge of the Sith. Like, they changed around a lot. Uh, Singing in the Rain, South Park movie. Straight Outta Compton, that was an awesome movie. Um, Psycho, Elf, that's one of my favorite Christmas movies. Uh, Moonrise Kingdom, Howl's Moving Castle, and Spirit Away, obviously. Two great Studio Ghibli films. Uh, <laughs> it's like a biggest guilty pleasure movie of mine. The, the original Transformers. Uh, that's my favorite out of all of them. The best out of all of them. Inside Out is like one of my favorite Pixar movies. Favorite director? Oh man, I have a lot of them. Like, there's a lot of really good ones. Of course, you got like Scorsese and Spielberg, fantastic directors. Like, if I were to break it down to my favorites, like those would be included. And then Edgar Wright, 
who made the Cornetto trilogy, of course Scott Pilgrim and Baby Driver. Like he makes really, really cool movies. Um, Wes Anderson, he's a quirky, but he's such a unique director that it's just hard not to love his movies. Like Fantastic Mr. Fox, Moonrise Kingdom, Grand Budapest Hotel, those are my favorite out of all of his that I've seen. And then Quentin Tarantino. How can you go wrong with Quentin Tarantino? Uh, my top three favorites of have to be Pulp Fiction, Reservoir Dogs, and Django. Um, they fluctuate a lot, you know, they change uh, depending on the day, but I love those movies equally. And then of course you got Damien Chazelle, who made two masterpieces, Whiplash and La La Land. Like he would seem like my kind of guy. Like if we were just hanging out like and talking to stuff, because he loves like jazz and stuff, which is my favorite genre of music. Like we would have like a conversation for like at least five hours. So he knows, he knows what's going on with uh, that stuff today. And plus his movies are just masterpieces. They're amazing. I can't wait for his new movie coming out later in October. First Man, the Neil Armstrong movie. That's gonna be great. Are you planning on making a movie Yes, I am actually. I am working on like three scripts right now. Um, I'm working on two noir movies, like black and white noir, like Touch of Evil, um, Sin City type of movies. And then for my junior year talent show movie, I'm gonna make a horror movie inspired by the recent It. Cause I, that, was a, that was an amazing horror movie. And then my senior year project, I am planning to make an Avengers movie. So hopefully that goes smoothly as well. Also, uh, I'm kind of like bouncing around ideas with my uh, friends about whether or not to make a sequel to my first short film, Fire With Fire. Cause we, I loved, I had so much fun making that movie with my friends and stuff like that. I would love to make another one. And my friends would love to make another one. So, you know, who knows? Maybe in the near future we'll, we'll get to that soon. Favorite memory from my childhood. Oh my gosh. Um, like to be honest with you, like my favorite memories from my childhood have to be with hanging out with my friends from the private Catholic school I went to from like kindergarten to eighth grade. I had like a lot of really great memories with them. Watching really old, like good uh, Disney Channel, Cartoon Network, Nickelodeon, Nick Jr. shows. Oh my gosh, those were the good old days. Another one would just be watching movies, you know, like, like I said, Pixar and Shrek and DreamWorks and all the other movies I've seen from my childhood that helped me shape myself to who I am today. Most embarrassing moment. Oh my gosh. Cause it's hard. It's hard to come up with uh, an embarrassing moment off the top of your head. But if I were to choose some embarrassing moments, I'd like pick three. I have like three right now. Oh my gosh. First off, uh, freshman year, there was an incident involving bench pressing in the weight room. I told some of you that story already. You know who you are. Another one, just talking to girls sometimes can be kind of awkward and embarrassing, but to me that's not super embarrassing. It can be in some situations. And another, lastly, another really embarrassing moment was I swore in front of my English teacher. I was in front. I was in front of the class and I was talking to my friend and he accidentally like swore in front of him and he corrected me. It was so, I was so embarrassed. That was one of my many embarrassing moments that I've probably forgotten by now. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Thank you to everyone who sent me questions through Instagram and text and Snapchat or what have you. I had a lot of fun answering uh, your said questions. Like they were all really great questions. Thank you again so much for sending me that. I should probably go to bed now. <laughs> it's it's 149 in the morning and it's super it's super late. I gotta go to bed now. Thank you so much for watching. This is Gabe Dozario signing off.